In this problem, we have negative 7 and 3 quarters being added to 3 and 1 quarter. Notice that the negative value has a larger absolute value than the positive value. That means that our answer is going to be negative. Because if you were to start at negative 7 and 3 quarters below 0, if you were to add 3 and 1 quarter, you would move towards 0, but you would not make it past 0. You would still be under 0. So right off the bat, we know that our answer is going to be negative. And when you are adding a negative to a positive, you have to subtract the two absolute values from each other. And you use the sign of the larger absolute value. So let's start by writing 7 and 3 fourths. And underneath, we are going to subtract 3 and 1 fourth. Now, the denominators are already the same, so we don't have to find a common denominator. They are already common, so we can just write a number 4 right here and then subtract the numerators of 3 and 1, which is 2. And of course, 7 minus 3 is 4. Now what we can do is reduce the fraction 2 quarters to 1 half, so we have 4 and 1 half. But we must make sure that this value is negative. And the reason for that is because if you have a negative and a positive, you have to use the sign of whatever value has a larger absolute value. And because negative 7 and 3 quarters has a larger absolute value than 3 and 1 quarter, we have to use a negative sign. So we have to remember that when our signs are different, we have to find the difference of the absolute values and use the sign of whatever value had the larger absolute value. So the answer in this case would be negative 4 and 1 half.